Hi, this is Randy. Uh, and today, what I wanted to do was introduce you to a resource, uh, especially for those who are doing reselling. You obtain pieces of jewelry, and of course, because you don't know the history, you really have no idea what gems are being used. Uh, the Presidium is useful, but you basically need to know uh, stones, have a good background in stones to recognize uh, what a stone has the potential to be, and then the Presidium can help you uh, to clarify that identification. So one of my favorite resources is Fire Mountain Gems. They are a huge website. They sell jewelry making, uh, equipment, findings, beads. They uh, will send you free catalogs. All you have to do is go to their website and fill out a little form and they'll send you free catalogs all the time. And these are lovely. Beautiful color catalogs. They give pricings. They 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 give the the pieces. They also have ideas on how to use the jewelry. I believe they have videos and how to make videos. They also have a huge catalog that's about this thick, and I, for some reason I don't have one, that they send about once a year. But then about, about once a month, you get one of these smaller ones that usually feature something of interest. So like this one is crystal and glass. This one, it says beading soothes the soul. So it's focusing on different aspects of beading. This one, all about, or all things metal. So this one is, it's a thicker one, and it's really featuring metal. So like here's some of the, and I hope you can see these. Uh, it, it, it's, this looks like it's a, a silver working kit right there. They just, oh, this is metal clay. This is for metal clay. I've, I've got both a, a, silver met, a silver clay and a copper clay kit that I got ages ago and I've never used. This one is all things seed beads. Here's one that says design jewelry using color. So that's to give you some ideas on it. Here's Western Seed Beads. Now you see, I keep these. And that's for a good reason. I'll pull that. Here's another one, Findings and Chains. Everything to do with findings. You can have pre-made pendants and things. This one is crystal and glass and they don't re they don't exactly repeat and they also have ones that feature wedding here is chains and wire they're one of the best sources to get wire and other findings from they have a lot of silver charms and pendants uh, jewelry making supplies so this one is going to feature on um, the things that you need for actually making the jewelry. Now then they'll periodically send you sales catalogs like this one. Uh, they're good for a specific period of time and these are so fun. They have all kinds of, a lot of times they're discontinued items, close out items, and they have excellent prices. Uh, like for example here uh, it's like a dollar fifteen, and these sometimes you can find things less than a dollar, uh, and they've been reduced down. They, in other words, they they've mostly sold out, and they have such low quantity that they just need to get rid of it. 
and I buy, I have got so many things from these close out catalogs. See, here's another little one. And this one was, uh, I believe, featuring Christmas stuff. And see, it says, keep this book. And here was another little sales catalog. And uh, they, they often have pearls. Uh, they have gemstones. They have pre-made, inexpensive jewelry. They have all kinds of, of neat things. Uh, I could go on and on and on. They also have uh, contests where you can submit uh, des your own design using their materials. Look at that. More sea beads. These are some of the thicker ones. This one is focusing on Native American. Here's one featuring wedding. Now, some other resources. Now I'm going to try to pull these over here. And these are ones that I keep for other reasons. Um, this one is Potomac Beads. They are another good resource for, for, for beads. So you've got Potomac Beads. And then here is one. i got to read it. Kingsley North. You get that there. They also sell all kinds of beads. Let's see who else I have in here. Prima Bead is another one. And I always hang on to the catalogs. There's another Prima Bead. I've got several. Look at these. Prima Bead. Now this, I use, this is something I kept onto. There's another place, it's called House of Onyx. Oh my God, they have the most gorgeous stuff. They will have, uh, oh, they've got so much, but they've got jewelry, they sell loose stones. Uh, they're a higher end catalog, but still good. Look. So, like, here's for an example. If you get the catalogs from House of Onyx, look, they're telling you what certain sizes of gemstones look like and what their going cost is. Like, here's Burmese Ruby. Blue-green tourmaline. Okay? green tourmaline so it shows you the difference between what's considered the indicolite or blue green and regular pink spinel you want to know what pink pink spinel is look at the different range of colors A wonderful resource look over here ceylon blue sapphires oh boy what's that uh Kanchanaburi blue sapphires, Savorite garnet, which of course is the green garnet, Thai ruby, Imperial topaz, which is one of the top types of topaz, and it also shows different colors that it comes in. So see, this is a wonderful resource. Um, here's lima beans, or lima. Uh, they are another good company to buy res to buy things from. Look at these jewelry designs that they've got. And this one has instructions. So like here's a beaded bracelet. And there's the instructions on how to do it. Now what was this? So that was just a crafting book. Here's another Prima. Okay, here's one that I specifically kept. This now these are these are quite old. Um, this was a Museum of Jewelry catalog, and this is from the 90s. 
but I use this for inspiration. I look at these beautiful pieces and I think, well, I really like the way that looks. Is that something that I can reproduce, but maybe not using, of course, gold or, or silver? Plus it has other beautiful, gorgeous little things. So that's one. Now here's an old catalog from Coldwater Creek. And this one is quite old. My mother had received this, and you can see, look, 1998. Okay, I like, we, you get cold water creek jewelry. And this helps, uh, keeping old catalogs like this, helps you identify the jewelry perhaps, but it also tells you whether they made sterling, gold, and jewelry with real jewels, which they did. Coldwater Creek is very good jewelry. Now this, uh, here's Kingsley North. Now they're more for lapidary, but look at the tools. They've got great things. Here's uh, another couple of uh, ones from uh, Fire Mountain Gems. So there we are. Um, now, the ones I use the most are these. Because some of these catalogs they send you and they will say, keep this book. So the, this is one specifically that says it's gemstones from A to Z. All right? And Here, for example, it starts with the A's. Crazy Lace Agate. So we've got Crazy Lace Agate. And look at the different colors that come in. Yellow, pink, green, purple. It gives you good examples of what that stone looks like. Um, then what have we got over here? More crazy lace agate. Look at this gorgeous blue color. And here's a lavender. Then uh, let's move forward a little bit. And now we're in the carnelian. So it shows you the different colors that carnelian actually can come in. Here's a, uh, a yellow calcite. And here's different ranges in color of carnelian. Here's more carnelian. See, some are more orangey, going to really orangey. Here's the floral. The range of colors from pink, semi-clear, dark green, watermelon. Uh, and, and pieces that look like amethyst. Uh, it's easily carved. Uh, here's some on emerald. Okay. The other nice thing about these books is that they can give you what general prices are. And here's some jaspers. So sometimes when I'm sitting watching somebody else doing an unboxing of some sort and I see a stone and I go, okay, I think it's such and such, I grab this uh, and I go to the page of what I think it is and I find that these photos of the beads will really help me in identification. So there's this one that says gemstones from A to Z. Here's another one that's a keep this book and this one is gemstone beads again it lists from a to b all the different gemstones and helps me identify something uh, gemstones of the world here's another one this one has pearls who knew they had pearls in kentucky but these pearls, aha, 
come from Kentucky. Who knew that? Freshwater pearls from Kentucky. Okay, and then this one is a birthstones of the zodiac. So this one will list all of the the birthstones and will say which star sign that they are associated with. So there's just an idea. You also can uh, put in your email address and they will send you notifications of these big box sales, these wonderful sales that they have where you can really get things very, very inexpensively. I highly recommend Fire Mountain Gems as a resource for you, uh, as well as some of those other companies. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in chat.